be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms in the sea of troubles, and by opposing in them, to die, to sleep no more, and by sleep to say we end the heartache, and the foul and natural shock to flesh thereto, to this consummation, to foully to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep perchance a dream, aye, there is the rub, for in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There is the respect from each calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and storms of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's tumbly, the pains of despise, the love, the laws, delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns, the patient merit of the unworthy case when he himself might as quiet as maker of the red bodkin? Who would find all spare to grunt and sweat after a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country, from whose born no traveller returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others we know not of? Thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the name of hero of resolution is sickly all with pale cast of the 